ever wonder how different doses of caffeine might affect testosterone and cortisol levels in the body during exercise? That is going to be the topic of our Brain Bomb for today. So the idea for this Brain Bomb was submitted by family of FAST member Tim Crago. And let me tell you, Tim, I really had to search hard for this one because there is a teeny tiny scant bit of literature on this topic. Like I'm talking like four or five studies, but let's just dive right into this. So as we all know, testosterone is a very anabolic hormone meant for growth and building in the body. And then the polar opposite is cortisol, which is catabolic or breaks down things like lipids and proteins in the body. But have you ever wondered if caffeine during exercise can affect these levels of testosterone and cortisol? I don't know, but we're about ready to find out. And the most specific study I could find on this topic was conducted in 2008 by a gentleman named Christopher Bevins. And what he did is he took 24 rugby players and had them consume either zero, 200, 400 or 800 milligrams of caffeine one hour before resistance training. Now, during this resistance training session, they took saliva samples at the time of caffeine ingestion and then every 15 minutes for the hour and then 15 minutes after the session ended and 30 minutes after the session ended. And here is what they found. With the resistance exercise alone, it increased testosterone levels by 15%, which is to be expected. When they factored in the caffeine, they saw a moderate increase in testosterone levels up to 21% at the highest dose of 800 milligrams of caffeine. Now, at this point, you may be thinking, sweet, caffeine really has an anabolic effect. I'm going to go slam 800 milligrams of caffeine and go buck wild. But to be a Debbie Downer, they also found that cortisol was increased by a moderate 52% with the 800 milligram dose of caffeine. So what does this all mean in geek speak? Well, caffeine increases both testosterone and cortisol levels at a higher dosage during exercise, but they kind of counteract each other and cancel one another out. So you're really not getting too much of an anabolic effect from testosterone during exercise. Now, again, this study was conducted in resistance trained athletes, so I can't say 100% if the same is going to hold true for endurance athletes. If anything, I would suspect that the cortisol levels would be a little bit higher during endurance training with caffeine ingestion just because of the catabolic nature of endurance exercise.